Hey, what's up, guys? So we're at Denny's, and I'm with, what's your name again? Alyssa. Alyssa. I'm with Joel. I'm with Kevin, and we're out here. We just left the gym. Um, yeah, we're out here just getting some food, and I feel like um, that the interview is going to go well. So we'll see what happens throughout the, throughout the process of our time at Denny's. Cool. Hey, so um, as you guys can see, she's wearing a um, crystal, and she has a dream catcher. Um, Joel, Deacon Joel, had the, the word of knowledge or just felt in the spirit to come to Denny's. What are the chances out of all spots? Because I wanted to go to this Jamaican spot, Kiki's. We didn't know where we wanted to go. You know, it was put on his heart to go to Denny's. And what are the chances that the server we get is wearing a crystal and a dream catcher? That's, that's, that's supernatural. And it happens a lot. That's when you know that the Lord's hand is on your um, ministry. It's the anointing that he empowers it. And he sets up everything. It's We don't have to go out there and try to look for it. He sends them to us. I believe she's going to be encountered. The Lord's already been speaking to me that she has unforgiveness for her father, that she's dealing with um, she, anger. I see anger on her, um, and that, that stems from the unforgiveness and rejection. Very smart person. Um, even though she said she dropped out of high school, um, I just feel like she's a very intellectual person and has, um, has plans. She's a leader. She's an innovator. She's a revolutionary person. Like she, When she comes to Christ, she'll be... Um, very apostolic fivefold uh, she'll move in the prophetic but more of the um, as an evangelist she's going to reach a lot of people with ap um, apologetics when she comes to Christ so I believe she's going to get encountered I, I believe she's never been encountered and she's going to feel the, the power of God is going to touch her and um, it's going to get deep with the words of knowledge because it's going to expose the deeper hidden things of her heart so I'm excited you excited Deacon Joel? I'm super excited this you know what time it is. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it? Time? Game time. Hey, he almost checked his phone. Hey, I almost got him. Hey. <laughs> yeah, bro, we just left the gym. We got, we got, we did back and shoulders. How you feel after the gym? Bro, work out with Pastor. He gonna get you right. <laughs> hey. We gonna, we, we get, we get right in the gym. We, uh, he's, uh, Deacon Joel's getting swole. I'm getting right. Kevin's getting swole. We, we've been consistent. It's all about consistency. Get your tempo right. If you can get spiritually strong and physically, you know you're in order. And um, Deacon Joel and myself both have wives. He has a son on the way, Emmanuel, my godson. And, you know, it's, it's not easy. But um, the Lord makes it possible. He's the co-pastor at First Love Church. So when you guys come to the First Love in Orlando, you're going to see him over there organizing a lot of the stuff. When I'm in the back consecrating, preparing for the sermon. God is good, man. He's an interpreter. And, yeah, man, he's, he's, he's a powerful man of God. But... We in Denny's now, and we in incognito mode. We told her that we're going to record a vlog. We're being honest. She don't need to know that it's a Christian vlog and none of that, because we, we don't... That's why you guys have to adapt. We have to be smart, strategic, wisdom. I don't get these encounters by going to people and saying, Jesus loves you at first. I wait, and I let the spirit move. We're not about religion. It's about relationship. And when you have a relationship with the Holy Ghost, he's going to tell you what to do, and he's going to set it up. Okay? So let's see what happens. Everyone, look at Joel. <laughs> All right, here we are. Got the pancakes for you guys. Amazing. And our omelets. And that steak for you. And I'll be right back with the sugar free syrup and I'll get you a steak knife as well. Quick question before you eat. Yeah. What do those um, necklaces mean to you? Um, so this one's a dream catcher. Um, I just, I like it a lot. I don't know. I've always liked dream catchers since I was a kid. Um, and then this crystal is amethyst. Um, it's always been my favorite crystal. Um, and then it's got the tree of life on it. So and that's pretty self explanatory. Um, and this one up top, these two my boyfriend got for me. So. Yeah. I've never seen that. Uh, yeah, it's a amethyst. It's a pretty, pretty common crystal. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, no problem. So about the girl, it's time to eat. Oh, the, the sugar-free syrup. Yep. Oh, right oh, okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. Hey, so as you guys can see, she, uh, she has a crystal. She has, um, she has the uh, the dream catcher. Um, so when she comes back later, just you know, warming up, not being religious, not being condemning, not being judgmental you know i'm gonna explain to her my testimony what i went through um and i believe that she's gonna receive prayer and she's gonna um take at least one of them off i'm i'm, I'm having faith that she'll take all of them off but 
Let me not be too loud. God bless y'all. We about to grow. En el nombre de Jesús, fuego, fuego. En el nombre de Jesús, levántate. Oh, that was really good. good. Yes. One second. Okay. Can I ask you a few more questions before yeah. we leave? So if you were to if you were to um guess, what would you say I do for a living? Um Be real. I don't know. I feel like something in construction. Really? Yeah. Okay. Like, I don't know, like oh, I can't I don't look, know. Yeah, you look buff. Like you look like you. Hey, 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 come on. <laughs> okay. I, 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 take another guess. Two, three guesses. Um, I don't know. I feel like you'd work at like some like really cool like place where they like make ads and stuff. I don't know. It's maybe something like that. Okay, like marketing. Yeah. Okay, now third guess. Um, I don't know. Maybe like tattoos. You got a lot of tattoos. Okay. So good guesses. That, yeah. So um, I'm actually um a very spiritual person. Okay. Um, so I've, I've actually, I just want to give you like just a little background real quick. Awesome. Okay. So, so um, I, I studied a lot of spirituality. I actually went to Haiti. I seen, I started, um, I was practicing voodoo. I'm listening. A lot of voodoo. Um, I've been to New Orleans. I was um, practicing a lot of Santeria and um, New Age. Awesome. Um, being trained by warlocks, witches. Um, okay. Like I was actually, I'm being trained um, from ancestral spirits and all that. Oh wow, that's awesome. And, um, and uh, I had experiences with uh, the spirit realm. Taking LSD, I've experienced um, supernatural um, celestial beings in the spirit realm, okay. angelic and demonic, not just energies, but actually um, demonic, like spirits with personalities, yeah. with bo without bodies, that um, that even people had inside of them. I've seen spirits enter yeah. people. Yeah, have you? I have had a scenario where I had someone come into my house, and they had what they call what you call a pocket demon, mm -hmm. um, and he opened it into my house, and the next day my older brother got really really sick. Um, my parents, because they were religious, so they blessed the house and did prayer and all that. So they were religious? Are they still alive? Uh, they are, yes. Okay. What are they, like is a Muslim, Jewish? Christian. Christian. Yes. Okay. Um, but yeah, after all that, my brother got better. Um, so it was so, just a, so you, your parents, their spiritual practice actually helped your brother? It did, yeah. Did that kind of blow your mind? Um, for sure, yeah, definitely, because I wasn't very big into like believing into that type of stuff. But I think if you that kind of really, up your mind. oh yeah, for sure. And right now, I feel like you're a very spiritual person. Um, I am. You seek but the I'm truth. Not. Yeah. Um, I don't. Like I don't you, like you ask the questions. Yeah, like, like what? I don't what do we rise into a certain religion? I believe everyone should have their own beliefs. Um, I kind of just believe in like. The universe. I don't know. Universe. Like when you're like, not, you're, you're, you're not like, sure, but you're just like whatever. Yeah. Like I feel like everything does happen for a reason. Do you feel like sure. we, we have a soul? Yeah, for sure. Do you feel like we go somewhere when we die? Um, I think either some of us do or some of us don't. I definitely do believe in reincarnation as well. Like being born into a new new body. So where where does it, for reincarnation where does it begin? Um. With I karma, but and with karma, you believe in karma? Oh yeah, for sure. So like good and bad karma, who's the definer of it? Because if you think marijuana is bad and I think marijuana is good, who gets the bad karma? Because I know murderers who think murder is right and rapists that think rape is right. I think the universe. I don't know. There's got to be some sort of like... I don't Higher know. power? Yeah, there's got to be something. I don't know. So would you say you're agnostic, like you believe in something like a higher power, but you're not sure? Yeah, like I, it's, I definitely have never like put much thought into like my religion. Have you been questioning while we're here? Like, what's the purpose of life? Um, have you ever I question that every day. <laughs> a lot. Yeah, I guess it, for it gets, sure. It gets becoming like more than... It, it, it. Can I ask you another deeper question? Yeah. Has it caused you to become not... Uh, I'll say just depressed. Um, yeah, I definitely struggle with a lot of issues in my day-to-day -day life. I grew up with a lot of stuff happen at a, at a young age. But, um, what do you say, like, 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 like sexual assault? Um, I've been through sexual assaults, I've been through rough times with parents and stuff like that, stuff I won't get into, but I've been through a lot, but I, I think I feel like specifically, I don't mean to cut you off, but I just, I just, I'm just getting downloads yeah. really quick. I feel like you specifically, you can't forgive your father. <laughs> that's pretty, that's funny. Yeah. I feel specifically um, that you have a, you have anger to, towards your father. 
Um, I definitely have anger towards both my parents, actually more so my mom than my dad. Um, they, I still love them because they're my parents, but there definitely are things that I wish they would have done differently. Um, things that would have, like if they would have done differently, I would have had less of a hard time now that I'm older. Um, was it like being strict, religious, what was it? Um, my dad was a lot more strict. Um, I didn't really have a life growing up, so now it's very hard to like keep friendships or even have friends in general. Um, you, do, you do with like rejection. Yeah, I'm like, very. It's hard for you to trust. Yeah, and I'm very like self-aware of like myself and like stuff that I do. And you have so. like overwhelming weight, but spiritual weight that sometimes leads you into isolation. Yeah. And um and sometimes you get into these uh you start cr creating these these things in your head like um like scenarios that aren't even true and you start believing them and you don't know why yeah. against people and it, and it puts you into depression and even you've been suicidal uh yeah i actually tried to take my life um a couple years back okay. and i wasn't successful so obviously because here i am but yeah okay, can i tell you why sure because god has been protecting you so me i went through all that and i was suicidal i was depressed and angry i had unforgiveness I studied every religion you could think of. I was raised Catholic, never believed in Jesus. I studied Islam, no power. No, I had more in Voodoo, I had more power than in, than Islam. I studied Buddhism, I did yoga overseas, Ashtanga, Vinyasa, Bikram, Hatha for a long time. They told me that God was me and I, 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 I knew I wasn't God because I didn't know the answer to life and I was still depressed. Yeah. I had a supernatural encounter with Jesus Christ where he filled me with his spirit and de demons came out and I got healed from diseases that doctors couldn't, I'll be right with you guys. that even doctors couldn't even figure out. And he and, and it's it's it might sound crazy, but um, I'm a pastor oh, of a church okay. ten minutes away. Where do you where at? First Love Church. Okay, I think I've heard of it. Yeah. Have you ever been encountered with the Holy Spirit? Physical, um, tangible encounter, like where you felt His presence. Um, there's definitely been times. I know growing up, I went to like church camp and such, because um, it's what my parents believed in. So I kind of went along with it. Um, there definitely have been times, but I, I don't know. It, I don't know who, we don't know if it's God, if it's Jesus, whoever. I, 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 I want to do something for you. I want to pray for you. And I, I'm not even going to touch you. Okay. The presence of God is going to drop. And the spirits, those demonic spirits that are literally on your back and right here on your head, they're going to come off. Can you give me a moment to seek this table and Perfect. get them settled in? Sounds good. Got it. First things first, I used to have um, about, I would say close to $10,000 worth of crystals, big ones. Really? Um, awesome. Different ones, and um, it actually never brought healing to my life or, or protected me. It actually was a checkpoint for demonic spirits, because when I found Christ, I actually started seeing in the spirit realm. I started seeing more, and I started. I realized that the idolatry came from it. That I was worshiping a, a rock. That's something that God created rather than the Creator. So people don't they don't know that those that the, that wearing these things and saying they protect you or keep you it, it actually is a checkpoint for demons a lot of people are, are very innocent but they're just ignorant yeah. and the bible says my people will die for lack of knowledge i didn't know none of this till i came to christ i burned i had altars with statues and i had many crystals so the dream catcher as well it's, it comes from cherokee and syrian um uh, theology just just beliefs okay. and they believe that they're supposed to protect you in your dreams it actually can allow demonic spirits to to sexually assault people in their dreams, oh, wow. which I'm pretty sure has happened to you before. I it's weird. It's oddly weird that you say that because I definitely have had like um, sleep paralysis. Dreams. Yeah, I've had sleep paralysis, um, and I actually have a dream catcher hanging right up like by my bed. And ever since I put it up there, I've noticed I definitely get some like odd dreams. You see so, what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, um, I go around, I help people out. God brings me to the people that literally. Um, dealt with the same thing like I wasn't gonna come to Denny's I wanted to go to Kiki's but my friend was <laughs> like fair. you know what I'm saying but my friend wanted to go to Denny's and just my brother like in Christ and just think about it what are the chances that you're the waiter yeah. waitress and um, I just want to say this like I see people like take these things off and get freed from demonic spirits I want to pray for you for real but I do believe that these things you should take them off before I pray you want to do that yeah I'll take the, both of them the other one their boyfriend gave you to trust me just okay. just trust me okay it'll it is, it's gonna bring freedom to your life I'm gonna pray for you. See. Those things, um, it's, it's it's idolatry. I know we don't know. I used to have a lot. Okay, I'm gonna pray for you now. I'm gonna pray you this. I want you, I want you to experience the encounter, encounter the spirits. I want you to sit, close your eyes, relax, say this, say Jesus, Jesus. encounter me encounter. with your Holy Spirit, with your Holy Spirit. If, you're real. if you're real, in Jesus' name, and deliver me, deliver me. from from depression, from depression. Anxiety. anxiety, suicide, suicide. And, anger. and anger, in Jesus' name.
Stay right there. Keep your eyes closed. Relax. I'm going to pray now. I pray right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every unclean spirit of depression, I command you to come up and come off right now. I pray, Holy Spirit, you touch her right now and counter her. Every unclean spirit, go in the name of Jesus. Go. More. 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 There we go. There it goes. More. All anger, go. All anger that came from unforgiveness. I intercede for her right now in Jesus' name. What did you just feel? And be real. I'm, I'm really touched. Um, As I was praying, what'd you feel? I couldn't focus almost. It, it was hard for me to like kind of focus on everything. But um, after the fact, I definitely feel a lot lighter yeah. for sure. Um, it, it almost brought me to tears to be honest because I've, I've been dealing with a lot of stuff lately. It's been really, really hard for me. Um, and then you guys show up and it's just so weird. It makes me question a lot. A lot. Like it's, yeah. it's, it's kind of supernatural. Yeah. And Jesus truly loves you and he died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose on the third day. And it, it sounds crazy that a man was killed, but he was killed because he sacrificed himself. It's a spiritual law that blood equals life and sin equals death. So he came to shed his blood to atone for all our sins. Sin is transgression against the law. Just like a three-year-old knows murder is wrong. You see yeah. what I'm saying? It's, it's, it sounds crazy. I'm not a crazy. You're going to see my Instagram and you're going to be like, yo, this is crazy. Like, <laughs> God me. bless you, sis. Yeah. God bless you, too. You guys have a good one. What are we interviewing about? We're interviewing about... So, I operate in the supernatural power of healing. Okay. I feel like you have a pain in your body right now, don't you? I do. Your back, specifically. My knee. Your knee. Right or left? Left. So full, and I actually have to have knee replacement surgery next week. Wow. What's the pain level, 1 through 10? Like a 9. A 9 out of 10? What's the lowest you can bend? Uh, probably here. Show, like, when you, when you do a squat, show me the lowest you can bend right now. That's the lowest, and it's a yeah. 9 out of 10. I'm going to pray for you. I believe in Jesus. He's a supernatural healer. I know you believe in Jesus, too. He's going to heal you completely right now. You, you, just, you just were led by the Spirit of God brought you here. I see healings all the time. I see people get out of wheelchairs, all that. Do you want to be healed? And, Absolutely. And you believe in Jesus, right? So I want you to just do something. Have you been dealing with a lot of struggle right now? Yes. In the past, did you ever deal with addiction? No. Anybody? Your, my husband did. Your husband. And do you want to... You want to let go of all that stuff? Yes. You love your husband? With all my heart. Okay. I'm going to pray for your husband, your marriage. Have you, do you want to rededicate your life to Christ? Absolutely. Right now? Yeah. Okay. Give me a hand. Say this. Say Jesus. Jesus. I rededicate my life to you. I rededicate my life to you. I confess my sin. I confess my sin. I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. And I need you. And I need you. Heal me. Heal me. Guide me. Guide me. And I'm forgiven. And I'm forgiven. By the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. I turn away from sin. I turn away from sin. I turn my back on him. I turn my back on him. And I turn to you, Jesus. And I turn to you, Jesus. Forgive me. Forgive me. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I'm going to pray for you. It's going to get completely healed. I command full healing right now in the name of Jesus Christ. All pain go to zero right now. In Jesus' name. All of it go. Now try it out. Go ahead. It's a little tender, but I can go lower. You just went really low. What's the pain level now, 1 through 10? Be honest. About a 6. Okay, I'm going to pray one more time, okay? I'm not going to even lay hands. Stay right there. I command full healing right now. I command all the pain to go to zero right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Leg be made whole, knee be made whole, all tendons, anything that's going on right now. I command full healing right there in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, I pray that you touch the knee. In Jesus' name. Try it out now. It's like no pain. No pain. And don't, you're not lying at all. No. Like you would be straight up honest with me. I would be straight up honest with you. I haven't been able to bend like that in three weeks now. And you have no pain. No pain. None. Right like, now. Like you promise. I swear, no pain right now. Because people are gonna watch this and they're gonna think you're an, an, an actor. No, I swear. Do I know you? No. I just met you, right? Yes, because I work at Denny's. And you just came up. And I just came up. And you have no pain in your knee. No pain in my knee right now. I'm going to pray again one more time just to complete it. Now, what you need to do is you need to praise God. When you leave later on, you need to put on worship music. Do you listen to country worship music? Mm -hmm. You do, right? Mm -hmm. Put on some country worship music and praise God. Because there's a story about 10 people who had disease. He healed all of them, Jesus. Nine of them left, but only one came back to say thank you. And the one that came back was made whole. The other ones had leprosy, which means legs and arms were like cut off, but they were healed. But they still dealt with that same thing. The one that came back was made whole. Everything came back because he praised God. 
So what it means is that is that when we get healed, don't go back to the sin that you're in. Go to a church. Come to you come to our church. We right up the street if you want to, or any church you want. A Baptist church, non-denominational, whatever it is, a Holy Spirit filled church, and and go to God and say, God, thank you. He's trying to show you, Jesus, that He loves you. You re, you just rededicated your life to Christ. He's using this healing as a way to bring you back. You have to take this as a miracle because right now you feel no pain. No pain. No, it doesn't hurt at all. By the way, your friend just got completely healed on her knee. Yeah, look, I, girl, look, I can bend. You're, you're, I haven't you're, been able to bend in weeks. Tell, tell, tell your friend. I haven't been able to bend. I've been limping for weeks. Do you believe the power of God is real now? Absolutely. Well, I mean, I've always believed. You always believed. Yes. But this is like a, like a refresher. Yes, it's a miracle. He loves you. He loves you, and he's never gonna leave you. He's always with you, even when you, even when we, any of us fall, and we go back to our vomit or we go back to the sin. He's still right there, just hoping that we come back. Uh, you know Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins? Mm -hmm. He was buried and rose on the third day. Mm -hmm. Why did he do that? He, God came down in the flesh. Every spirit mm -hmm. needs a vessel to enter the mm -hmm. physical realm. So an omnipresent God had to come into a vessel, Jesus Christ, his son. He is God to be shown here and prove all the Old Testament prophecies were true. And he shed his blood because blood equals life and sin equals death. In the Old Testament, they would sacrifice animals to atone for the sins. Oh, I know. I'm Jewish. So you know exactly. So Jesus Christ came and said, I'm going to do it. I'm going to be the one who said this is the last sacrifice, the Lamb of God, a human sacrifice. And he went up on the cross. Now his blood covers all our sins from the past, present, and future. There's a difference between sin and iniquity. Iniquity is willingful sin. When you know you're wrong and you, you, you're, you still do it. Sin is when we stumble. The Bible says if you think you're without sin, you, you're deceived. We're going to all sin. But when we sin, we repent and keep pushing. But when we say, I know this is wrong and we keep doing it, that's when God says iniquitors won't enter the kingdom of heaven. You you're going to see the orthopedic surgeon. They're going to say it's fully healed. And you come back to the church. It's called First Love Church. And you give your testimony. You let people know what happened. I will. And bring the documentation. Have you been dealing with depression? Yes. Strong depression? Yes. It's like you feel lost. A little. Empty. A little. And you, like, you're just looking like you're just like going through the motions every day. I mean, exactly. You want something new. Yes. It's Jesus. It's a fresh, a fresh fire. The presence of God is evident. I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to show you how real the presence of God is. I'm going to back up and pray. You're going to get touched by the Spirit of God right now. I'm not even going to lay hands. The Spirit's going to touch you. And you're going to feel a supernatural feeling of love and joy. You already feel it a little bit. But you're going to feel it a lot. He's going to free you from the depression right now. Depression is a demonic spirit. Operating, attached. Mm -hmm. There's demons in the spirit realm we can't see. The Bible says what we don't see is forever, it's eternal. What we see is temporary. Everything is going to disintegrate. That's because the fight is against the principalities and powers. It's not flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. Exactly. You see, that's why he's calling you back. You have a calling. You have a calling in your life. Well, I used to want to be a minister. You come to our church and we'll train you up. We're not religious. Relationship with God. We're non-denominational. We believe in the Word of God. We're not Mormons. We're not Jehovah's Witnesses, Catholics, Baptists, and none of the Pentecostal, none of that. We believe the Bible, non-denominational. And you will see the power of God move, the love of God move, worship is powerful. A whole bunch of people that I, I, I preach sometimes and Jordan's in the fitted. I'm not religious like I have to be in a suit. I preach the true Word of God. I'm, I'm the pastor because he saved me. I was telling her I came from a lot of bad stuff and I had a supernatural encounter with God. He came down and he encountered me, delivered me from demons delivered me from diseases that doctors couldn't heal. And I was, I was military, traveled the world, drug dealing kingpin. All into witchcraft and all types of stuff. Yeah, deep, voodoo, Santeria, yes, I, had, I, needed, I needed that for the drug game. I was moving hundreds of pounds of marijuana, quarter kilos of molly. Like I was, I was in the game and I was around the world. I had drug operations all over the US and even internationally in Portugal and London, through the mail. And I was successful. And then God encountered me. I was suicidal because I had all this money, everything. I was depressed, empty. What's the purpose of life? I couldn't, it couldn't, I had all the women I ever could ever want. Every girl I ever wanted. Every girl I ever wanted. All, and foreign girls, or men, whatever I wanted. And I was empty, no love. Wondering, God, who are you, higher power? He encountered me, Jesus Christ. I studied Islam, Buddhism, everything. Nothing could fulfill me until I had an encounter with Jesus. And he filled me with the Holy Ghost. 
I, now I can't stop thinking about Jesus every day. I know the answer to life now. I don't care about this life. I don't care if I'm homeless or rich, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna still do it for the glory of God. So now we do these videos to show the love of God for real. You feel my heart right now, right? I do. It's genuine. This, this, this isn't a game for me. I love God so much and he loves you. You are called to be a minister more than a minister. You're gonna pastor a woman. Pastor women that come from battered homes. I just heard it in the spirit. You're gonna pastor women who are abused. It's so weird because I'm a victim of domestic so violence. Tired. You see? I just heard it. Poof, I heard the Holy Spirit right now. An angel is right now. Shout out about Kai. Ooh, I feel the spirit right now. You're gonna be leading women that come from rape, battered homes, and they're gonna come in young girls and even older, and you're gonna heal them. You're gonna pray for them and they're gonna be healed and you're gonna, you're not gonna care about the money. You're not gonna be care about the fame. You're gonna have such a powerful healing touch that these women are gonna change and become married women. They're gonna have relationships will be restored. Marriages will be restored. They'll have children. And these young girls won't go to things that you went through. You're gonna stop young, I keep seeing 14, 15 year old girls that are going through these, 14 specifically, that are going through these. Does something happen to you at 14? Specifically 14? I was raped. Oh my rebe. I just literally seen 14, God said 14, 14, 14. He didn't want those things to happen to you. The environment and the atmosphere that you were around gave the enemy legal right. God, can, he hates that. He doesn't want you to deal with it. Now, God wants to free you and give you a testimony. And for you to help those young girls, so they don't have to go through it. You're a leader, sister. That's why he just healed you. And he's going to touch you right now. I'm going to lay hands on your head. I'm going to pray against any... Yeah, and you've forgiven. You've forgiven. You. You've let go, right? Of people that hurt you. You forgave them. Yeah. Because I usually it's unforgiveness. Like she had unforgiveness. But you, I, I just heard the Spirit say, you've forgiven. You've let go. But as you're just dealing with trauma now, they're going to come out now. I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to lay hands. Close, relax. I pray right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every unclean spirit that came in through the rape, I command you to come up and come out right now. All depression, I command you to go. All suicide, go. Every spirit of anxiety, I command you to come out of her temple right now. No more torment, no more lies, no more deceit. I command all the weight to come off her shoulders too. Right now in the name of Jesus, all weight come off her shoulders. All of it go. She's made whole right now by the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus against every principality, power, ruler of darkness and spiritual wickedness in high places coming against my sister. She has a pure heart. She's loving. She's forgiven. And she's going to be. She's going to change many lives. I pray an impartation of the gift of healing that she'll start laying hands and people will get healed in Jesus' name. Only Jesus' name. Thank you. Lord for this woman of God in Jesus name Amen Oh, I feel so light like light right yeah I feel sick. me too <laughs> like he's here the atmosphere shifted. I really was not expecting all that wow <laughs> you just felt the atmosphere shift didn't you like we're not like it's like we're here but nothing around us it's like we're right. not a, we're not in reality because we've touched a different dimension we're in the spirit the Holy Ghost. He loves you. He loves your husband too. No matter what your husband's done, he has a, he, he's dealt with stuff too from his family, his father specifically. Abuse, a lot of stuff, mental especially. Mm -hmm. God can free him too. You can, I'm a pastor, I would love for you to come to our church. I don't, the church, like, oh, you have to come to our church. We welcome you. But I tell people all the time, I tell, sorry, I tell people all the time it's not about our church, go to a church in general. But you can come, we're like 10 minutes away, no exaggeration. And what's it called? First Love Church, 1ST Love. Okay. I can give you the website too. You have your phone on you? Uh, yeah. Cool. I'll give you the website and then you can see all the service times and everything and you come if you want to. I would love to. Amen. And you're going to go to that doctor and be healed. Yes, yes you are. They're going to confirm it for you.